Elaine Tom Seheras season's best in the 60 meter dash, 7.08. Iwa Soboa's world lead time, 7 zeros flat. Could Elaine Tom Sehera lose to Iwa Soboa at Cornicus Cup 2022? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button. When you do that, go and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy our content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments. Do you think there is any chance of Iwa Sauboda of Poland beating Elaine Thompson Hera? in the 60 meter dash when they clash at the Cornicus Cup. February 2022 in Torin, Poland. Now, full disclosure people, I knew nothing about Iwa Soboda prior to her running that seven seconds flat in the 60 meter dash. Now, what I've gathered is that she was born on the 26th of July in 1997. She's a Polish track, track and field sprinter who specializes in short sprints she is a two-time European Indoor Champion, Championship medalist in the 60 meters. She won a gold medal in 2019 and a silver medal in 2017. Now her PB in the 100 meters is 11.07, which is okay. But in the 60 meters, it is now the national record of Poland. And it's seven zero seconds flat on her new PB. Uh, here she is running um, a, a, a quick 7.10 in a recent race, indoor race. race. Now, this Polish star, Iwa Soboda, is really good over the 60 meter. I mean, it's almost like it's her specialty. I mean, her, I, I told you her PB in the 100 meter flat is not that impressive, but she's been running these crazy times since 2016 in the indoors. Now, almost in the opposite, at the opposite end of the scale, um, Elaine Thompson-Hera, the world's fastest woman in both 100 and 200 meters, second fastest all time with that remarkable 10.54 she did last year. In the 100 meters at the Prefontaine Classic in Oregon, she doesn't really do the 60 meter very, very often, to be honest. It's really not her thing. Uh, here she's running her PB in the 60 meters, which is 6.98. And I believe the only reason she'll be doing this is working on her start to perfect her start. Here she is running that personal best of. 6.98 in the 60 meter dash she did in 2019 in Bir Birmingham at the Mueller Indoor Grand Prix then. Elaine Thompson Hera surprised us all when she started her 2022 season with her first race at the Queen's Grace 
Jackson Invitational in January. Now that first race was an outdoor 60 meter dash and I thought she looked quite comfortable. In fact, I use the term jog. Um, she looked really, really comfortable and she ran a very comfortable 7.19 and it's, it was very obvious she was just going through the mechanics trying to get her legs under her. Here is that her first race for the 2022 season. Tom Sahara looked relaxed and at ease, just getting her legs under her. And I think we need to all remember that she's really preparing for the World Championships. Now, Iwa Soboda of Poland opened her season with an incredible time of seven seconds flat in the 60 meters, which is a new world lead and of course a national, rec national record, which she did at the Arlen Cup. Here is that race. Now, I have to admit that that run, that seven seconds was exceedingly impressive. She looked really impressive in that run. And she looked as if she had more in the tank, which is why, you know, um, I'm raising this particular question. You know, it's a, I think it's a reasonable question. Yesterday, February the 19th, Elaine Thompson Harris formally started her, her international campaign for her World Championship Gold Medals. She did so with her first 60 meter dash race internationally at the Mueller Indoor Grand Prix, which was run in Birmingham. She won in a time of 7.08, her season's best thus far. Here is that race.
her first 60 meter internationally in three years. Once again, I was impressed. She had a rather average start, not her usual start, but walked up through the lines and took the win in an impressive 7.08. Now I can see that is definitely not the best of Elaine Tavzahera. As I stated and showed you earlier, her PB in the 60 meters is a very impressive 6.98. So we know she's just getting her legs under her. And I think the reason why this is an important race to me is because this is going to be her first two tests, I think, in that 60 meter dash. She'll also be facing down the European indoor champion, who is uh, Ayla. Del Ponto of Switzerland, who has a personal best of 7.03 seconds, as well as, of course, the subject of our inquiry, the now, um, the now world lead time of 7.7 .7 seconds, which is, of course, Iwa Soboda. Soboda. I think both these ladies will be able to press Tom Sahara. And the thing about Tom Sahara that I have always enjoyed is that when you push her, she simply goes faster. And I like the way her management team has sort of structured her races thus far, starting from, of course, the Queen's Grace Jackson outdoor 60 meter to yesterday's run in Birmingham. Um, she's being pressed more and more, and I really think she's going to respond. Yesterday, when she started out with, with that very average start, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't what we expected or what she normally delivers. She walked through that line. She walked through the ranks with with ease, to be honest, to run that 7.08. She's not going to be denied, Elaine. Tom Sahara refuses to lose. But at the same time, we have to be honest and say that seven, seven seconds flat with uh, someone who seems to basically specialize in the 60 meter dash, which is the Polish sprinter that we're now discussing, Ira Sauboda. That's, that's a pretty impressive run. Will she cave mentally under the stress of running against the world's fastest woman? Remember, I always say on this channel you know, that turning up on big occasions is a huge deal. It's one thing to be running against your regional athletes, but to run against the world's fastest woman, the sheer psychological aspect of it can lead to Iwasobo not doing as well as one would have expected. However, on paper, she's supposed to beat Elaine Tomsahara. But I think, honestly, Elaine is going to win this race. This is my opinion. Um, I might be prejudiced here, but Elaine always delivers and like I said, she turns upon those big occasions and she's just going through the ropes at this point in time. I like the fact that I think she's going to be pressed by this young lady. I think we're going to see an even faster time than yesterday's 7.08. Well, we will know the answer to this question in about 36 hours. I really want to know your thoughts. Do you think there's any chance that this young lady, this, this world lead 7 seconds 60 meter, athlete out of po the, the Polish athlete Iwa Soboda could possibly beat Elaine Tom Sahara. Is there any chance? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Remember the goal now at Peter Lloyd World is 20,000 subs. We'll get them with your assistance. So please, great kings and queens, hit that subscribe button. When you do that, go and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video once a day every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Hit the like button. We really need that engagement and leave your comments. You are kings and queens. Bless up.